haven't made a video in weeks, and today I get a big red pimple on the end of my nose. Hey guys, so yesterday my brand new X-Carve arrived. Sorry, 12 weeks ago yesterday. Yeah, still sitting here. But I have finally cleared my schedule of client work, so I'm beginning assembly today. Now, you can order the X-Carve with or without the wasteboard. That's the wooden surface that you clamp everything to for cutting. And since it's essentially just a big piece of MDF, I didn't want to pay the shipping on a big piece of MDF, so I'm going to make my own. The standard wasteboard comes with a grid of 144 threaded inserts for clamping, but I don't want to drill 144 holes, and I really don't want to use threaded inserts, so I thought I would make mine with a series of T-slots. Now, it should be a fairly simple build, but hopefully somebody can get something out of it, so let's get started. That's what you call crotch dusting. So the instructions for this T-slot bit specify using a 3 8 inch straight bit to run the initial slot, but turns out this shank is really closer to 5 16 
Plus, my running this through twice to get the right depth probably opened it up a little. My little, uh, you know, slot following router track guide thing wasn't totally accurate. That's why I ran this bit through twice, once along one edge of the slot, then back along the other edge, just to make sure they were symmetrical. Also, I knew the ends of these slots weren't going to turn out perfect due to the tendency of this shank to follow around the corners at the very end. So I cut the whole thing oversized. So now I just have to slice off the ends and then I can drill the mounting holes. There should be 12 of these. Okay. Wait a minute. So, it's a little bit low in the middle. I'll just have to shim that or something. Otherwise, this turned out great. I will add a link in the description for this T-slot bit that I use, but keep in mind, it does not accept regular quarter-inch bolts. It only accepts T-bolts. But, in my opinion, that's fine, because T-bolts slide in and out a lot easier and provide much better gripping surface than regular hex head bolts. By the way, when I went to trim the board to size, I discovered I was missing an entire slot and all of my spacing was off. What the fuck? I still don't know how I did it, but somehow I had knocked my diagram about 6% out of scale. So even though I had cut the board to the correct size, all of my slot spacing was completely off. So I had to throw the entire board out and completely start over. I don't know how I didn't notice that on the very first pass of the router. Now, I probably won't be doing a video on the rest of the assembly of this. There are plenty of other videos out there for that. And Invenable's instructions are really clear. By the way, this is not a sponsored video. I paid for this entire thing. So save all of your what a sellout comments for when I actually do sell out because I'm a whore and I'm looking for sponsorship. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And I'll see you next time. How do you turn this damn thing off?